Hey, how's it going? Gareth James here for mttpokerschool.com and today I want to answer a question I received in an email earlier this week. It said, hey Gareth, great article about the King 3-3 board and not treating all King High boards the same, but I have a question. You mentioned the importance of understanding who has range advantage and who has nut advantage, and it's often these that will guide our strategy on the flop, but how do I work out who has range advantage and who has nut advantage? Many thanks. Keep up the good work. Phil. Well, firstly, thank you very much for the email, Phil. And secondly, let me walk you through the answers to those questions right now. For this video, I'm going to use the free version of Equilab, and you can download this from PokerStrategy.com. There is actually a premium version of this software available. It's called Power Equilab, and I definitely recommend investing in that. Uh, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to show you how to do this on the free version, just in case you're just starting out and you don't want to have to buy anything straight away. Okay. So first up, we need to think about an example situation. Uh, let's go for this. The hero opens to two big blinds from early position off a 20 big blind stack, and it folds to the big blind who makes the call. Now you can click the hand range selection button right here, and this is gonna bring up the matrix editor where you can select the range of hands. I've already done this one, so let's go and have a look at the big blinds range. Again, we click the hand range selection button, and that's gonna bring up the big blinds range. So straight away we can click evaluate and we can run these ranges against each other and as you can see Hero in early position will have the range advantage because they have a much stronger range going into this situation um, but that can soon change on different flops so let's try putting in some flops. Here's one I put in earlier, Ace, Queen, Jack and this is actually going to be a flop that gives the early position player even more equity so let's click evaluate and as you can see, now the early position player has 72% equity and the big blind has 28% equity. So we would call this a range advantage board for the early position player who would be encouraged to bet very frequently because of that. Now let's try a different board. We're going to put in seven of spades, six of spades, five of diamonds, and then we're going to hit evaluate once more. And as you can see, while the early position player still just edges it, you can see that the equities run much closer together. This is a range neutral board and will tend to point the early position player into doing more checking than they have done on the ace queen jack board. Just as a side note, in this setup where early position opens off 20 big blinds and the big blind calls, there's going to be very few uh, to maybe even no range disadvantage boards uh, for the early position player, since the worst board for the early position player is probably going to be a board like this one. Seven of spades, six of spades, five of diamonds, you know, three cards very connected, um, very much favoring the big blinds range rather than the early position player's range. So that's range advantage. Now let's have a look at nut advantage. If you click the pie chart button um, up here, uh, it's also known as the hand strength distribution and hand range reduction button, uh, we can actually select different hand strengths and see how many of them there are in each player's range. In this example, we're going to state that the nuts equals two pair plus. So that means any hand that's two pair or better will be referred to as the nuts. Now, as you can see, the only nut hands in the early positions range on this 765 board is a set of sevens and a set of sixes. And this makes up just 3% of early positions range. Let's compare this now to the big blinds range. This time you can see a lot more nutted hands. Uh, the big blind has a set of sixes and a set of fives, and then also has most of the straights and then all of the two pair hands uh, that are possible. And this makes up 9% of the big blind's range. So we can safely say that the big blind has the nut advantage on this board. And again, this would suggest that the early position player should do a lot more checking than they would do on the ace-queen-jack board. So let's now have a look at the ace-queen-jack board once more. So we're going to go for uh, the ace of spades, the queen of spades, and the jack of diamonds. We can evaluate it again as we did before. Uh, and then we're going to click this pie chart button. The early position player now has a decent chunk of nutted hands. So there's sets, there's two pairs, and there's straights. And these hands make up 20% of the early position player's range. Now if we compare this to the big blinds range, 
he actually has one more combo of nutted hands, 34 combos versus the early position player's 33 nutted combos. But it actually makes up a much smaller percentage of their overall range. And this is why, again, the early position player would do well to bet very frequently. So there you have it. That's how to work out who has range advantage and nut advantage on different flops. All you need are the two players' ranges and a free copy of Equilab. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit subscribe. And then if you want to, you can like or make a comment. This has been Gareth James for mttpokerschool.com. Take care, guys. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.